Kuda San Miguel, probably one of the most famous street artists in the world, famous oh, for yeah. his artworks, uh, like bright colors in, uh, in Spain. So right now you said you're in Berlin. Uh, what are yeah. you working on exactly right now? Oh, right now is the one week of holidays. Uh, just visiting some friends because I have a lot of uh, techno producers and a lot of artist friends that live the, uh, here. And I was uh, last week uh, painting for a film festival uh, in Oldenburg, and that's why I, I fly to, to Berlin. Okay, how was the festival? Super nice, uh, because it was the first festival after the, the pandemic, you know? Yeah. Uh, I paint a big mural in Madrid after our quarantine around June. And uh, after that, I paint the lighthouse in Cantabria, and this is the third one. And uh, for me, it's super important because um, I need to to do uh, these kind of things in the in the public space. So, something that I would like to like learn from you, it's um, mm -hmm. what? How do you find inspiration? Is there something in particular that you think? Uh, some rituals, some situations that help you? to yeah. like, uh, have creativity and to, yeah. okay, now flow of ideas. Yeah. Uh, first inspiration came from my academic season. Uh, when I studied fine arts, I discovered the surrealistic uh, genius like Dali, like Magritte, like Max Ernst, like the Bosch, or like another super classic and modern artist, like, uh, I don't know, Ren Renaissance, uh, artists from Renaissance, or or maybe Kate Haring, or or Murakami. For now, the most uh, thing that uh, inspired me is the travels. You know, okay. because the last uh, years I was traveling all the time. Uh, everything I like, uh, all my all, all the experience and all the cultures I I know, uh, I think are the most inspirational things. You know, the travel that most inspire you. Yeah. Yeah, when I go to these places like Africa or India or Japan too, okay. uh, I discover like a very different culture like, than, than Europe, you know, and it's super, super inspirational for me. Okay. Yeah, like the fabrics, you know, um, I want to travel, I buy a lot of different fabrics around the world. Um, I, I use the, the fabric to do, um, to do some clothes for me and to do uh, a very special art, artworks that I am doing with my mom. It's like uh, embroideries that I mix with wool and different fabrics from around the world. When I travel a lot, like last year, I always feel relaxed because uh, I feel like super safe and super happy every day when I wake up to work on my passion. And, and I love to change uh, country and change the environment every week. And yeah, I, I usually feel no, no stress, you know? Because I have a big team, because I have a big team that work with me, uh, help me with everything, and I am super focused on creation. The, the beginning of your career, you did the art school, right? Yes. Uh, in your opinion, what, at what point of your life uh, you had this kind of turning point in which you became a real artist? Probably after one of your like most important artworks. Uh, when I paint the church in the north of Spain, uh, I think it was in 2014. Um, I think I start to because I was super crazy with the media and with uh, yeah, and a lot of people around the world uh, start to 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 follow me and to propose me a lot of different projects and yeah, like was a, like another. Um, uh, step, you know. Is there right now a kind of uh, trend uh, or something that you particularly like, and in which you would be like uh, be inspired, or you want to focus more your art, or you will follow your line and your style? Oh yeah, I think um, I have a mind to uh, different things uh, to grow up like artists. Like, um, I try uh, a few years ago, I started to think on go up uh, to the next level with my sculptures and mix with architecture. And I am super focused on doing that. You know, imagine a big a sculpture, a big animal by me uh, that you can live inside or something like that, you know, like wow. that, like a house. Yeah, I uh, maybe 
uh, for next year, I start to do it. That. You know, <laughs> so it's happy it's a kind of spoiler. <laughs> yeah, I have I have a, a project there like that, and I'm super happy. And another one is um, introduced uh, into the cinema or um, video, music video, or this kind of thing, you know, because uh, I need to to see my art in movement, you know. Ah, okay. So you want also to see your art in movement uh, rather than yeah. only statically on uh, on a wall uh, or in a building. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, maybe like translate my art to to the cinema or to the video language. You know, I, okay. I would like your point of view about digital, about social media, and mm -hmm. uh, if you think that. Um, media, digital, and also tools like augmented reality can help artists to, yeah. to be better known, uh, to show their artworks, uh, their vision. Yeah. What do you think about that? Yeah, uh, I think digital um, for me is super important because I work with two uh, 3D builders in my studio and, th and two uh, graphic designers work, uh, work in my studio. And I work with them to, to do everything I do that is not painting, you know, like my books, like my sculptures, the uh, first layer is, uh, uh, I draw something and they translate to a digital archive that after uh, send to this another studio that, that uh, give me back the piece. Social media, do you use any kind of uh, platform? Yes. Uh, like uh, I, I yes, follow I you on me. Instagram and you're very active. Yeah, yeah, for me the most funny, thing and the most important for me is Instagram because um, I try to show uh, all my fans uh, how I live, um, everything I see every day, everything I work, uh, everything I, I visit, uh, like museums, like artist studios or whatever I like. And uh, it's, uh, I think it's super nice because at the end you have the opportunity to, to show everyone um, not only the final artwork, maybe uh, how everything you know grow up or how you do it everything in the studio like yeah the artwork that you are most proud of uh, i don't know i think the beginning of um, doing big scale sculptures in the street like uh, i think first one was a big uh, cow star i did in moscow Okay. And second, like a big bear I did in Vegas. And the third one was like a seven sculptures for a, for a um, port, uh, yeah, for a road in the port of Boston, you know. Uh, I think this, this, uh, this way is super important for me. And I'm super focused on doing that. And we are working now on two or three uh, big uh, sculptures for different cities in China now. Ah, in China. Oh, but yeah. how is to work in China? Because I know it's very closed as a country, so yeah. when uh, they're not very open with the uh, foreign. Uh... Yeah, I just started to work in China. Uh, um, I did my, the opening of my big show, like retrospective show with the tunnel I told you, and a different uh, immersive um, installations too. Uh, last June, last July, but I couldn't fly there uh yeah can't wait to be there when i can you know fly uh mm -hmm. yeah because i have uh we have a lot of proposals from there and we're working on a new uh sculpture for 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 the public space there obey like saying that once he was uh caught by the police uh while he was in a yeah. rooftop and had to run away something like that yeah yeah i remember one with the police in new york saying usa uh, I was doing a, a road trip with some friends and I saw after the Hurricane Sandy, Sandy Hurricane yeah. uh, in New oh. Jersey, um, was like a, a chaotic uh, uh, structures with the, with the houses, like, and one looked like, like came from the sky like this, you know, and I saw it and I stopped the car, yeah, 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 I stopped the car um, uh, because it was on, uh, I was in 2013 and I was doing like a, a few photographies, like, our, you know, part of my artworks uh, was photographies. I, I tried to translate to the reality uh, all my paintings, you know. And okay, uh, we hadn't, we have uh, anyone that want to do like uh, the model and I did and I could make it uh, just with, with uh, a few colors on here and uh, with the gloves. 
Ah, okay. The, the, the pictures and in two minutes come like a ten different police one, police, and, and I had arrested naked, you know? <laughs> Super funny. <laughs> But only two hours and nothing happened because at the end we didn't, we was doing nothing bad, you know. But uh, they told us that it was like private property and these kind of things in yeah. USA. But imagine after a hurricane, who knows uh, what is the private property or, or no, you know. <laughs> Everything is like, yeah, was like uh, super strange, but yeah, nothing happened. Just funny thing because I didn't have problems. I, I pay a, a, a You had a to pay to a young creator, a young artist, yep. that maybe did the art school uh, or maybe didn't study art uh, and uh, that has a kind of uh, creativity inside uh, but at the same time also has fear or it's shy to express it. What kind yes. of suggestion would you give him or her like to, yeah. to show it to the world? Yeah, I think... Um... When you live in a small city, uh, you need to, to travel to open your mind and try to understand how works the world. Okay. Not only the art world, uh, all the world and, and the people. And I think grow up like person. And if you grow up like person, grow up like artist, you know, and see more clean ways to grow up, you know. Uh, I think this is the first thing. And the second maybe is to try to to move to a big city okay because uh, it's more cultural the, you know more inspirational and more everything you know and and um a better uh, a better place that uh, for the people see your artworks and and your whatever you do you know? and also to show because yeah, yeah 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 i think it's yeah but traveling is the most important i think and of course um, try to don't care about no one and don't care about to follow uh, one direction or another direction, just your own direction, you know. And uh, you, uh, the most important to be an artist is you have to, to, um, to find like a unique language, you know. And what, what can be that, like this unique language, like the language? Yeah. Yeah, art. the most important uh, when you see an artwork of a, of a big artist oh. is like you recognize that, uh, you know, uh, ah, something that's super important. Other people yeah. can really, uh, like, uh, yeah. Nice. yeah, okay, yeah, 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 something like that. I think, <laughs> yeah, so I, whatever people are saying, follow. Yeah, like, if you want to do it, you, you have to do it, you know. Cool, cool. Thank you very yeah. much. So, thank you. I, I, Ciao. Good night. Ciao. Ciao, ciao.